hello welcome back everyone and today in this video i'm going to tell you how you can create your own custom jira workflow after watching this video you will be able to create your own workflow and you will be able to add the statuses and the transitions in your video so without any further ado let's get started with the video here uh, is my workflow screen and how you will get this screen this is the first question so for getting this screen you have to click on the setting icon and then you have to click on the issues you should be a jira admin or you should have a permissions of the jira admin then you can only see the setting icon so here is the workflow screen and in my previous video i have explained what is workflow what is the meaning of the active and the inactive workflow if you haven't watched this video till now then please go and watch and understand what is the meaning of the workflow active and the inactive workflow so this is my screen where i will go to the add workflow and i will click on the create new we have the two option here one is create new and the another one is import from the marketplace i never use the import from the marketplace option still now i always create my own as per my team requirement so that i can add it now i will click on create new and it will ask me about the name of the workflow and the description let's suppose the name of a workflow should be a uh, Mm, so let's suppose we can pick it the mm, yeah demo workflow and the description should be this is my demo workflow and i will hit the add and we have created our custom demo workflow here you can see we have the inactive label here it means you can add it your workflow you can add status transitions conditions properties whatever you want you can design your own custom workflow here we have the two things you can see the like in the form of the diagram or in the form of the text and this is the default status with the transition so we'll go to the text here and let me tell you what is the look of the text yeah this is a step one open and linked status is in review i want to change the linked status i'll click on add it and here i can change from in review to to do let me click on to do and then i will hit the update button now the step is open and the linked status is to do now I'll again come to the diagram because it is easy to explain in the diagram form this is my to do status with the transition create and if i want to see the transition level i can click on this show transition labels here and here are the to do and the transition name is create now we'll go and add the status let's suppose i want to add the status to in progress and i can click on the add but before clicking on the add it is saying allow all statuses to transition to this one what is the meaning of this the meaning of this is it means your status can go anywhere in the workflow if you will tick in this particular checkbox but now i will not do it so i'll click on the add and here is my in progress status has been added to the workflow let me do some adjustment and let me zoom a little bit here yeah but here you can see we have the red dot is what is the meaning of the red dot it means this particular status has no transition there are the no incoming transition to this status you can add the transitions with the help of this and even you can do it with the help of this and the other options is you can just simply click to one dot and map to the another status and it will open the new transition screen where you can choose from to two status like it's two to two in progress and name the status let's suppose it's in progress yeah and i can enter the descriptions and hit the add button and here you can see the red dots has been disappeared now i'll click here because i don't want to show the transition label as of now but it will come when i will hover on the transition so the first status is to do the second is in progress we'll go and add the another one mm, it could be uh, in review yeah here it's in review let's drag and drop it here and i want to add one more it should be mm, it should be done yeah and let me click on the add I have to add the transition let's suppose if I want to add a transition from in progress to in review then I have to do it 
something like this it will again ask me I can give a name I can give the same name and hit that button I can do the same with the in review and done I will it's uh, done and click on the add now the second thing is this will come to do to in progress and then from in progress to in review in progress to in review to done but it will not go back like you cannot move your issues from in review to in progress back and from in progress to in review or the same is with the done you cannot move back from done to in review how you will uh, solve this problem so you can solve this problem from let's suppose i have to create a one more transition from in review to in progress and i can do it and the name will be same I, and i can add something like this so this is the way how you can create the workflow in jira and you can add the statuses and the transitions there are a the lot of things that i will cover in the series and where i'll talk about the properties post functions validators in the workflow so that's all for this video where i have created the new workflow the workflow name is demo i have added the status and the transitions i hope now you can create your own custom jira workflow with the statuses and the transitions and you can uh, play around so that you can learn better because you cannot learn if you are not doing the hands-on practices let's meet in the next video where i'll talk about how you can copy the existing workflow and start at it let's suppose if your team is using the workflow but all of a sudden you have to change something in the workflow then how you will do it and then how these changes will be reflect to your project stay tuned uh, bye bye for now thank you